juice box. Too short to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. I've got one today from the um, Four Pure Brewing Company in London. They're based in Bermondsey, just south of the river. Um, I've tried one of these, bef one of their other beers before. I think it's called Hemisphere, which wasn't bad. Um, this is a um, a citrusy pale ale. Uh, according to the description, it was in Tesco's and uh, they seem to do a few of their beers, which I think is great because that means, you know, a craft brewer has broken into the supermarkets, not literally, but they've uh, managed to get their beer sold in a supermarket, which I think is great. And that is the goal, getting the beer out to the masses. They do three for a fiver, which is quite a good deal. Um, it's actually an India Pale Ale. Sorry, I said it was a Pale Ale. It's a, it's a citrus IPA. Um, it is 5.9%, I think they said. Yeah, 5.9% in the volume. It's a 330ml can. Um, it gives you all some like flim flam on the back. And it says, uh, juice box offers fresh orange, zest, mango, and papaya flavors. And the aroma of good times. The aroma of good times. What do good times smell like? What, what are they talking about? They put some, then I put some nonsense on the back of these cans sometimes. Anyway, let's get this open and see what's going on. Well, yeah, that is from fruit on there. And I can get the mango immediately. I was actually eating mango today, so I can smell that straight away. It smells quite sweet. It's quite nice as well. It smells very fruity, not much hop, it's more fruit than hop on that. Sweet fruit, like they say, like the papaya, mango, and orange. But let's get it into the can and let's see what is going on. There it is in the glass. It is quite clear actually, it's uh, very, light golden colour, uh, some good carbonation in that, very small bubbles, and let's see what's got on the nose, yeah more sweet fruit, more mango, more orange, there's a little bit of orange in there, there's a bit of pineapple in there too, it seems to be just about the fruit, there's a, there's a little bit of grapefruit on that, but it's more of the sweet fruit. Let's get it down the hatch and see what is going on. This is cold, by the way. This came out of a fridge. Not bad. Um, it the, the fruit dominates this. There isn't much malt that I'm getting. And I thought there would be some big grapefruit flavours on the back end of this, but there isn't. It's fairly subdued. Yeah, it's just that big, sweet fruit. That's quite a good quite a good description of it, the um, citrus IPA, because that's what it is, it's tropical fruit, basically, and um, it's very drinkable, I will say that. Um, <clears throat> it's quite refreshing too. Oh yeah, it's okay. 
Actually, it's not bad at all. It doesn't stand out as being amazing. It's just, yeah, it's a good drinkable citrus IPA, as they call it. Um, it's 5.9%, so you obviously couldn't session that, but with a few, uh, and there's not much bitterness on that, so that would possibly go with some spicy food. So some spicy meat or something like that, or not a curry, but just like, you know, some Mediterranean stuff, that would probably go quite well. Um, but yeah, I quite like that. What would I give that? Um, I would say seven and a half out of 10. It doesn't really stand out as being absolutely knock your socks off amazing, but it's not bad. There is quite a good, uh, good few flavors on that that really come through. And as it's repeating on me, I'm getting orange. <laughs> so yeah, if you don't like fruit, don't buy this. But yeah, seven and a half out of 10 and I'd recommend it. And remember, beer is working class champagne. <laughs>